You know who won a game, though, on a four-point play? What's that? Greatest player in college basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Zion Williamson. Yep. Yep. Misses it on purpose because he knows he's got R.J. Barrett, the number two pick in the uh-huh. draft, sitting right there with, I think, a little white guy next to him. Just fouled out the seven-foot-six guy. Taco. You're welcome. Yes. Let me take the big guy out, uh-huh. Taco, who's a hell of a player, by the way. You don't got to do much when you're seven <laughs> no, you That's why you see a doorman that's seven foot tall, and he's not a basketball player. He's got work ethic issues. <laughs> we all know it. You don't got to do too much when you're seven foot tall. Taco proved that, and Taco will be a hell of a player. Zion fouls out their big rebound yep. guy. Notices R.J. Barrett's on a guy who might not have as much grit as him. Goes, listen, boys. Whoop, whoop, bird call. Four-point play. Mm-hmm. Misses it short to R.J.'s side. R.J. grabs it, puts it back, takes the lead. Game over. They missed that fucking layup, though, man. Oh, so close. Tip in. Do you think there was a little push on the rebound there from RJ? I mean, Ooh. there's a lot of rules. There's a lot of rules broken in this game. Yeah. I mean, charge on Zion? Zion, well, what, which time, though? Zion goes for a dunk earlier on old buddy, and Taco literally just brings both yeah. of his arms down on both of his shoulders and hits him like in the collarbone. No call because it's on Zion. Right. That's against any other player. That's a call for yes. sure. Oh yeah. So I mean, we can't just we can't just debate about things that happen at the end and not debate the entire game. I think that layup falls though, man. That is a that was tough. That is Coach's tough. kid. Oh. I mean, it would just been magical for oh. him. Oh, and Johnny Dawkins playing for Shashevsky for that many yep. years. Yeah. Like you said, now coaching UCF. And Aubrey, to beat- I believe, is his kid, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to tell you why. Sometimes there's magical moments in sports that happen outside the court. And that Shashevsky talking about oh. Dawkins Aubrey? was was. One one of them. Yeah. After the game. Yeah. Heart broke, heartbroken for him. Almost he almost teared up. His kid played incredible. Yeah. I also think Shashevsky's not that great on the microphone. You would think a coach who's that good at recruiting would do better interviews. He seems to not do that He's great. Very dry. He's yeah, very bell dry check, isn't he? What's that? He's like a bell check. I mean, he, not yeah. really. Keeps to himself. I don't know. His interviews are just very. That moment was He's a very monotone and dry. Yeah. that's the most. That's the most personality I've ever seen him have. He, he just because he almost choked up. But. Yeah, he seems like a guy who doesn't want to be bigger than the game. So yeah, really like that type of. Guy. He is though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Shashevsky is one of the names that is He's USA yeah. basketball. I'm He's yes, also yeah. notorious for having one of his assistants do the uh, halftime. That makes sense. Before he goes into the locker room. Got you. Like he always does that. I enjoy I enjoy that Duke team though. There's a lot of people saying that old Ja was better than Zion because he had one good game and then the next day he went like two for 45 or something <laughs> like that. Everybody's like, this Ja guy is the guy. This Ja guy is the guy. A lot of people saying Zion's not the guy. I just don't know. I just don't know how you I just don't know how you say it. He's very good at Can't. creating opportunities for other players when like he's facing some kind of uh adversity like he was with the seven foot six I, tree. I wish Coach K man. would let him run point for a game. Yeah. Just well, hey, well, he brought it up down the floor. Just there's no see. reason for their point guard to be in there because they literally sat back twelve feet and dared him to shoot threes. So there's no reason for him to be in there. And he knocked Wild. a couple of dimes, by the way. <laughs> knocked a couple of dimes. A couple of them. Yeah, he did. What are you he, talking about? A couple of them. He's hit. He's hit the shots he's had to. Like the open looks, he's hit the ones he's had to. Give or take. Except a for the free throw that he missed on purpose for RJ right. Barrett. Correct. Yeah, but he was trying to do that. So I'm a big Zion guy, man. I think he's the guy. Did you see the post game for UCF? No. In the locker room. A lot of oh, very emotional. It was very good. Jerker. A lot of crying in this basket. This college yes. basketball yeah. tourney. Yeah. And by the way, I thought about Coach K talking to Zion when the world was talking about Zion never playing college basketball again. Uh huh. I thought about Coach K telling Zion, hey, you know what LeBron and those guys don't have? That's a March Madness run, right? Like, you're going to be the next LeBron. Yeah. You're going to be the next big guy in NBA. None of them have a good March Madness run. Zion's like, well, I'm a little rusty. He's like, well, let's play a couple games before March Madness, and let's get you warmed up. Tournament's going to be your time. I think that, that was the conversation that Coach K had with Zion. Like, hey, because well, there's no other reason for Zion to be playing right now. None. No. Right. No. Zion's the number one pick regardless. There, there's no questions right. being asked. No matter right what. Now. None. He's doing it strictly to get a big long run. Let's they see. lose the UCF. That's all ruined. And how about what he said to Zion at that last time out before that play when he was like, you were born for this moment. Coach K said that? Well, yeah. And Zion said, when Coach K looks you in the face and tells you you're born for this moment, there's nothing more motivating. <laughs> like Zion was telling that story in the post. He went right into that yeah. fucking taco character. Oh, yeah. He was going for a yam, by the way, yeah. on him. He was going for a yamski. Then he lays it in, misses it. 
on purpose. RJ Barrett gets the win, <laughs> helps his team out, lifts his team up, makes his teammate who was the number one recruit coming out of high school makes him think he hit the game winner. Would really was Zion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a perfect play by Zion. Perfect play by Zion. Anything to say over there? None. None. Can't wait to watch him at the association. <laughs> <laughs> Six game road tr- road he, swings. His West athletic Coast. ability. I said this over the weekend, and it's. Have you ever? Do you ever watch Sean Kemp play? He's a couple Ooh. years ago. Not a couple years ago, but. Dream Team type NBA player who is just out of this world, gym athletic, to handles well. That's my NBA comparison. Sean Kemp. Hold on, somebody What's told going? me. Somebody told me he's like Blake Griffin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's he's a poor man's Blake Griffin. <laughs> And I was like, a poor man's Blake Griffin. What? Didn't Blake Griffin play in the same tournament? Like, yes. He yes. played in Oklahoma. Yeah. Right? Yep. Mm-hmm. One and done. I don't know if he's doing with Zion. Zion can do whatever the fuck he wants. Zion he, can already shoot. If Zion was on that Murray State team with Ja, mm-hmm. if he was just like Ja was, right. Zion would put up 45 mm-hmm. shots a game. He would be the point guard. He'd be everything. Yes. I mean, he would be able to do the same shit. For sure. And what, good for Charles Barkley. Did you see when he how he responded when they tried to make the comparison yes, to him? I and he was just that. like... Oh, he's way more talented than I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got Charles Barkley sitting there for 10, 12 hours. Yes. Just in the same seat. Getting loopy. That's unbelievable. There was, there was a tough uh, Charles Barkley, like, big head segment, kind uh-huh. of head segment. It was, it was yeah. tough to watch. Was, I think that's why they did Wally Zerbiak. They want him to get loopy and say something ridiculous and just have it go. 